Hello everyone, welcome to the video and today I would like to talk about how to use Redux with new Next.js version which comes with UpRouter. So let's just get into it. Here's the documentation and I'm just going to jump straight into it, grab what I need, go to my code editor. Here it is, I'm gonna stop the development server and install the dependencies with pnpm. So what you need is uh, Redux toolkit and bindings in the uh, form of React Redux. All right, so I'm just gonna go through the documentation. It's not gonna be uh, something totally different with uh, one small change. All right, what we need to do next is we need to configure the store. So let's just grab this code and uh, I'm gonna do it with, like the uh, a little bit different than they suggest in the docs. I'm going to do the store directory and here have a file name store.ts paste and actually that's all we, what we need to do in this step and now comes the tricky part we need a Redux provider and it changes a little bit and I'm gonna show you why so if you would like to use it like in the old Next.js or in the in the way of uh, for example, a VT app, VT, uh, you would just basically put your providers here in the layout.tsx. And now you can also do this and there is no real downside. But if you would put it directly, if you would put your provider directly in layout.tsx, you would have to make entire layout uh, client side. And we don't really want to do that. So I'm just, just gonna grab the imports and create a separate file. It's gonna be called store provider. We've got imports and what else would I need? All right. All right, let's fix this TypeScript. Okay, great. And I guess it's all I need. I have to fix this, only the import. Okay, so we've got the provider. And here's the most important step. You have to make it client component. So you need to add directive use client. Without it, it's gonna yell at you that you are trying to use client side code on the server component. So now you come here, you add your store provider, wrap your entire uh, entire structure. And let's just go back to the documentation. And now it's time for some boilerplate. Oh yeah, we love it. Uh, so that there's clear slice.ts. I'm just gonna put all this code here. I'm not gonna worry ab about, you know, comments, anything. I just want to show you right now that it will be working. Okay, we've got that. We also need to add to our reducer. So let's just go to our star.ts. All right, so now we should be able to use hooks and generally a Redux store inside our components. So let's just go and try to do it. So let's just go to the page, the TSX. It's our, it's our uh, main page. I will delete this boilerplate from the next JS. What else do I need to delete? This, okay. Actually, I'm just gonna paste what they suggest here. Uh, okay, just like that. So what we also need is the dispatch and data from our store all 
All right, everything is imported. Root state also need to be imported. Uh, actually, if uh, I should import it the other selector, so I wouldn't have to type this, but it's not a big deal. And now I only need to import uh, our actions. Okay, so let's try to use it. I already know it's not gonna work because we forget about one thing, but let's just check out what error are we are going to see, if any. <laughs> All right, so the app is building. Let's see, we have to wait a, a while. So maybe in this moment, I will tell you why it's probably not gonna work. It's because we are using hooks and hooks can be used only inside a client component. And since we didn't set directly it is a client component, it's gonna assume it's a server component. It's gonna, you know, okay. We've got some errors. What we got here? Reactor context value, component is wrapped. Okay, so I, I'm just gonna assume that yeah, that's our error. Now we are going to go here and I'm just going to wrap whole file with use client directive, but you probably shouldn't do this. You should wrap only what is really needed. So for example here, actually only the button and this, uh, this, this fragment, oh, I'm sorry, only this fragment needs to be a client component because it needs interaction. So I personally would uh, take this to another file, use use client there and not use in a whole page. Uh, yeah, that would be my approach. Let's now go here and it's working. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. <laughs> All right, increment decrement. So as you can see, our store is working properly. Properly. So the main takeaway, you need to use client directive inside your provider and also in the place where you want to use dispatch and use selector. But also the other takeaway is be really careful and thinkful about whether you really need Redux in your application, because maybe you are just fetching a lot of data and since then you would just use React, uh, React Query, which is a great library for fetching data. So that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe, jump into my Discord server and see you in the next one. Bye.